So honestly, this was one of the series that I unexpectedly that I really loved. Like while I was watching this series, after you know every episode ended, I you know and was overly excited for the next episode to come out. To like the anticipation of what Ogro and his mercenary company are gonna do now that you know they. Oh girl, you know, he has four kids, as we saw at the end. But what I really want to talk about was the ending. So, we see, you know, after the whole day, when the episode's about to end, um, we see Oh girl, you know, he's sleeping. And then, <coughs> the tomboy princess that we met, you know, in, I think we were introduced to her last episode. But, she, it seems like, like she's like Okro knows she's she's um she's planning something big and he even said he was like like after um after he talked to the princess you know once they got to their palace and kind of their first talk of like like it was very obvious to Ogoro that she was planning something like she was playing innocent but in reality she's like I don't know, I guess she's sneaky or whatever. But anyway, she does call Ogoro um, at midnight and ask, you know, I was hoping to get your services. Um, and then we see Ogoro's in a monologue. He was like, oh, um, like he, I know that she's playing something big based off, you know, the little um, replicas I left in, in the world capital. So he knows what's going on. But he's still, um, Except the job and um, we didn't really get to know what the job is. All we know is that they probably went to the world capital. And then after Oguru, um, you know, when the episode's button, when he gathers everyone, they're about to set out. We see his narrator, which I'm guessing it's him from the future. Because the narrator says, I didn't know what how hard this job would be and that's where the episode ends so it just makes me wonder like, what is really happening um you know, what's the job that's so hard because we saw a girl like he formally um give everyone uniforms and he formally even said he was like the mercenary company is heading to the world capital so um, the job might be like something big, um, I guess we'll have to wait, and that's a great segue on to the potential of season 2 now, I think the potential is there, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only guy, only person who really really loves this first season, and you know, with everything going on now, um, like, um, I forgot to talk about, but that mysterious dream that Ogre had, I think, in episode 6, you know, he was sleeping, and then this guy, um, old guy, um, we only saw a silhouette, but very similar body type to Gobera, old man, and he says, oh, I'm sorry, but this is all I can do, all I can offer you, and he gives Ogre something, which we see him use it later in the episode or something and you know I'm guessing he power ups um so that's another question like in season 2 are we possibly gonna get the um reveal on who that is because I have a theory on who that might actually be I feel like maybe that could be like Ogro's god like that person could be the reason why Ogro has this second chance so it might be might be the cast himself. Um, a lot of, still a lot of mysteries. So I really hope we do get a scene too, because I really love that thing and there's you know a lot of content that they could explore. Um, even from this season, like what job what the princess asked the job to be. Um, and you know what their tests do like are they gonna protect something, are they gonna fight something? Um, you know what exactly is going to happen there 
Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool series. Really enjoyed the first season and really hope that it gets a second season because it was a good season one. But uh, anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.